Yo guys, it's uh, Tucci here. I've actually changed my name too. I've changed my name, so that's something new. Anyway, um, this I want to show you this, which is my uh, six tick eight bit barrel shifter with um, rotation. I think that's what you call it. So yeah, this can shift up to seven bits so uh, yeah let me just demonstrate that so I've got this binary number in this right here and this first segment of the power shifter shifts it one time this second one shifts it two times and this last one as you can see shifts it four times this one's probably the most obvious because yeah so let's shift this number once so it um the number original number was this this bit came down here because it's got rotation so the carry out goes loops back down into the appropriate input so this one would have been shifted once so it would go down here so let me put in a different number let's do let's do 10 so if I shifted this 6 times I think I'd get 5 Oh, right. <laughs> I got confused. Oh, to shift five times. So, yeah, it looped back. Looped back around. And, yeah. So, altogether, this is six ticks. This first cell is a two tick shifter. This second one's two ticks also. Yeah, this here is just to account for the delay because two touches, so it's all synced up. Then this last one was. This one is two ticks also, but to make it two ticks is kind of a mess, as you can see. So, yeah pretty proud of this one the most I've seen on the server I either um, use like pistons to make it faster but I in my opinion I just dislike pistons just dislike using them so I just decided to make a solid state one after seeing someone else's and I think the fastest you can make a non rotation shifter I think it's five ticks because if you use a one tick shifter for each stage well for, for 8 bits anyway for each stage um, you're gonna have to have account for signal strength at either end so yeah <coughs> the advantage of barrel shifting is with rotation is that say if I have this number right now as well as being able to shift up as normal like in the alien you're usually able to shift up but usually you can only shift up by one. I can shift up by any three bit number. And also the good thing is that I can shift down with this because I've got rotation. If I shift it seven times, as you can see this fa this ten will turn into a five. Cause this bit what was here looped all the way up and went back down here. And this bit went all the way up and back around. So yeah, so I can basically do downshift and upshift. I'm probably gonna be making a simple s CPU, probably about maybe about four, no maybe a three bit upgrade CPU. I might try eight bit instruction set. Anyway. Yeah, I just wanted to show you this bow shift I made. I'm sorry for the inactivity and 
I'm gonna be going back to the the uh, the CPU I was building. I'm gonna try and finish that off and get a wall download for p some people if they really want it. It's not a good CPU at all. I'd rather prefer them to make their own and learn how to make each component. But it's quite simple, so yeah. And thank you for 10 subscribers. That's not sound like much, but yeah, it's, it is for me. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Cheerio. <laughs> one little thing I'm gonna make a wall download for this so you can use something like I think MC edit makes it so that you can save schematics of things so if you want to use this for a CPU you can just make a schematic of this and just paste it onto your CPU because in this world I've got wall edit so yeah it helps and there's a lot of ways of getting old at it. It just helps making CPU. Making CPUs like really simple. So yeah. So that's about it guys. So yeah. See ya. And stay tuned for a next episode of the speed build CPU. I'm going to be making the program counter. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a... I think I might make a step by step tutorial on it because this program counter is kind of weird compact but not at the same time so yeah you'll see it anyway so just stay tuned so yeah see ya